Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Elementor in 2024, of course, for beginners. Of course, this is a straightforward process that allows you to add users authentication to your WordPress like site. Of course, we'll use like the Elementor plugin on the WordPress site, which is a powerful page builder. So uh, this tutorial will guide you step by step to create a functionally and visually appealing login page using Elementor tools. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser here for me. I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section here. Make sure to go to your WordPress dot com and of course for me i'll just go and open my local host because this is what i will use of course to access the plugin of elementor so if it's your first time in wordpress you'll be basically taken to this page and if you have an account make sure to click on login to login into your account and if you don't have an account click on create an account and set to create a new account Google, apple and github if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account once you're logged in, you will find yourself here. So make sure to go and access Elementor. Of course, you can go through plugins or simply go and add a new page and click on edit with Elementor. For me, that's what I'm going to do. As an example, I'll just go here to all pages and just go as an example and click on add a new page. And why I, while I am creating a new page, I'll just go here and click on edits with Elementor. Of course, if you don't have an Elementor like uh, plugin, all you need to do is simply go into this left panel, click on plugins, click on add a new plugin, and basically that will take you to the plugins like page. And from that, uh, you'll be able to go and uninstall, then activate the Elementor plugin. So you can simply just uh, go. Let me just go and check as an example. If I have, yeah, it seems like I have Wi-Fi. Maybe the local host is not working as intended. So basically, you can simply just click on plugins, and after that, you'll have to look for Elementor like plugin, and uh, of course, so Elementor plugin. Then once you find it, you will have to go and install it, and then activate it. For me, as you can see, I have to up upgrade it to uh, activate it. But on this local host, I don't have to so for me it's already like activated so if you have it and already installed and activated just go to as we did before pages click on add a new page and make sure to so yeah it seems like the local host is working right now so yeah you go to plugin click on add new plugin look for elementor as an example and once you look for it you'll find it's right here for me it's already installed so for you will have to click on install now you find the install now right here click on it and then click on activate and it will be activated once you do so go as we said to pages click on add a new page once you click and add a new page all you need to do from there is simply click on edit with elementor and that should take you to it right away so for me in the meanwhile let me just go here and update while this opens uh, maybe that's why the local host is not working as intended because of this update so because a lot of time like uh, the updates are very 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 necessary to for like the local host to work which is uh, basically WordPress so example here I'll just go and click yeah please update now to see if it's gonna work this is still not working as intended so I'll just wait a bit uh, I'll cut and coming back to you of course I'll after I try to fix that problem of course I'll just update this and come back by simply clicking on this updates to virgin and I'll update and come back as you said so basically here like Elementor is not working at the moment because I just updated but of course uh, once you click on it you'll be taken to a whole other page Elementor page and from there you'll be able to simply start creating your uh, Elementor like login page of course to specifically like show you the steps I'll just use here ChatGPT in case like uh, to understand the steps more as example uh, of course if you don't have an account in there just go and create an account that's why uh, because it will save you like the chat if you want to come back to it uh, whenever you want so as an example here I'll just type uh, how to create like a login page and Elementor as simple as that and hit the enter button and I'll just wait for him until it's, uh, he uh, answers me as you can see so you need to go and install uh, Elementor in WordPress and of course it should be activated and you will need Elementor Pro if you win if you need like more features then of course you'll need to install and activate the plugin of Elementor on your WordPress then go to new page 
add new name your page and click on edits with elementor that you'll find this at the top right corner for me i find here uh, edits or back to wordpress even if i click on it as you can see if i click on edits with elementor the page will not load correctly because i just did the update so it will not work as intended as you can see from there you'll be able to start designing the login page with elementor so once you are an elementor like editor as you can see you'll be basically able to start designing your page layout add section by clicking on the plus so basically they give you the exact steps you all need to do is follow it as you can see so the is the page is not loading as intended so I'll not be able to show you exactly how, but as you can see, if you follow the steps that's provided here by ChatGBT, you basically don't have to worry about anything. As you can see, click on the plus icon, add the column, choose a single column structure for simplifying, and the widgets on the panel, search for login in the widget search bar, drag and drop the login widgets, and then you'll be able to customize the widgets, click on the login widget to bring up its settings in the list panel. Here you can customize various settings like from form fields, button, redirect to URL, and even the style tab. As you can see, you can choose to show Show or hide the labels, uh, placeholders, and additional options like remember me or lows, uh, and of course, and lows password button. You can customize the login button, text, style, and alignment, redirect URL. You can set the URL to which users will be redirected after a successful login, and of course, the style tab customize the appearance of the login from including colors, typography, spacing, and more. Other than that, you'll be able to do some additional customization, like adding a background and has the visual appeal. You can add a background image or color to this section containing the login form, and you can even add some other widgets that you can add. Of course, other widgets like headings, text images, or icons to provide some additional context or branding to your login page. And once you're satisfied with your design, you can simply click on the green publish button at the bottom of the Elementor panel, and you can then view your login page by clicking on have a look link, and you will be basically good to go. As you can see, here is even a basic example on how to do structure. So they give you even that, they give you some tips for responsiveness and security as example, and yeah, you'll be good to go. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.